क्लास फोर्थ लेसन सेवन फ्रैक्शन देर आर सम टर्म्स फॉर फ्रैक्शन दैट इज वन होल वेन वी आर हैविंग द फुल फिगर देन इट इज कॉल्ड वन होल एंड इफ वी आर हैविंग वन बाई टू मीन्स वी हैव डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट्स देन वी आर हैविंग हाफ इफ वी हैव डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री पार्ट्स देन वी कैन से दैट वन थर्ड एंड इफ वी आर डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर पार्ट्स एंड वी आर हैविंग ओनली वन देन वी कैन से दैट वन फोर्थ और क्वार्टर दीज आर द नेम्स फॉर द स्पेसिफिक फ्रैक्शंस नाउ रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग द फ्रैक्शन हाउ टू रीड एंड राइट द फ्रैक्शन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अ फिगर इज गिवन एंड इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू फाइव पार्ट्स एंड टू पार्ट्स आर सेडेड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल राइट डाउन द टोटल पार्ट्स ऑन द बॉटम साइड फाइव पार्ट्स आर दर टोटल एंड हाउ मेनी पार्ट्स आर कलर्ड दैट इज वन एंड टू सो वी विल राइट टू ऑन द अप साइड मीन्स कलर्ड पार्ट अपॉन टोटल पार्ट दिस इज हाउ वी राइट द फ्रैक्शन और वी कैन रीड एज टू फिफ्थ द फर्स्ट वन दैट इज टू देन द नेक्स्ट वन फाइव बट इन द नम काउंटिंग फॉर्म सो फिफ्थ इन द सेम वे हियर ऑल्सो टोटल एट पार्ट्स आर देयर सो वी विल राइट एट ऑन द बॉटम एंड टोटल थ्री पार्ट्स आर कलर्ड सो वी विल राइट थ्री ऑन द टॉप and we will read it like 3/8 3/8 it is written also here okay now numerator and denominator the number which is in uh, upper part is called numerator and the number which is in down part is called denominator for remembering you can use that d for down and d for denominator now types of fractions first one equivalent fraction equivalent fraction means a fraction is having similar equation of or similar amount of uh, uh, numbers in the numerator also and in denominator we can say that the same in similar proportion they are having for example we are having a fraction that is 1 by 3 if we will multiply it by 2 then 2 1 ja 2 and 2 3 ja 6 If we will multiply by three, then three one ja three and three three ja nine. This all fractions are equal because if we cut it down or we can divide it by two, then it will become one by three. And if we divide it by three, then it will become one by three. So if the base value is same, then it is called a, an equivalent fraction. Now, how to find out the fraction is the given fraction is equivalent or not? So, for that, one example is given: five by fifteen and one by three is equal fraction or not? So, what we will do? We will multiply the five from three and fifteen from one. Means the numerator of first number with the denominator of second number. and the numerator of second number with the denominator of first number and then we will see if both numbers are equal then it's an equivalent fraction if not equal then it is not an equivalent fraction for example here both side 15 15 sir there so this is an equivalent fraction and here 4 to the 8 and 3 to the 9 both are not equal so this is not an equivalent fraction now building equivalent fractions there are two types that we can make equivalent fractions first one is by multiplying and second one is for from dividing so if we are multiplying a number in the numerator also and the denominator also a single number for example 2 is here for multiplying here 3 here 4 if we are multiplying a same number in numerator also and denominator also then we can get a new equivalent fraction of the given fraction For example, here one by two is our fraction. We are multiplying by two, and we get two by four. So one by two, two by four, three by six, four by eight, five by ten. These all are equivalent fraction. And by dividing also, here eight by sixteen is our fraction. We had, we just divided it by two. So four by eight. Again we have divided by two. Then two by four. Again we have divided by two. Then one by two. So these all are equivalent fractions. if we are multiplying or dividing by 
a single number in the both side the numerator and denominator then we can get an equivalent fraction exercise 7a first one circle the equivalent fraction in each of the following then how can we get how can we know that these are the equivalent fraction so first one is 3 by 4 second one is 3 by 8 third one is 6 by 8 so we can cut it for example 2 3 ja 6 and 2 4 ja 8 we have divided by 2 and here we get 3 by 4 and here also 3 by 4 here we can divide it by 3 3 ja and 3 4 ja and here also 3 4 ja 3 5 ja now here we get 3 by 4 3 by 4 3 by 4 so these are the equivalent fractions 3 by 4 6 by 8 and 9 by 12 in the same way we will do the here 5 1 ja 5 2 ja here we get 1 by 2 now 5 3 ja 5 5 ja we can cut it there 0 so we get 1 by 2 here 15 1 ja and 15 2 ja here also 5 1 ja and 5 2 ja so here we get 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 so these four are equivalent fraction now the next one 1 by 6 1 by 12 3 by 18 so 3 1 ja 3 6 ja and here 4 by 25 it is not divisible 7 1 ja 7 6 ja so here we get 1 by 6 1 by 6 and 1 by 6 so these are the equivalent fractions now write the next five equivalent fractions for this we have to multiply this number from 2 3 4 and so on for example 3 by 7 is given so first of all we will multiply it by 2 3 to the 6 and 7 to the 14 then we can we will multiply by 3 3 3 the 9 and 7 3 the 21 and then we will multiply by 4 4 3 the 12 and 7 4 the 28 then we will multiply by 5 5 3 the 15 and 5 7 the 35 so these are the equivalent fraction of 3 by 7 so in this way we can get the equivalent fraction you can write equivalent fractions fractions are 3 by 7 6 by 14 9 by 21 12 by 28 and 15 by 35 now the question number 3 are these fractions equivalent how can you come to know we have to multiply this numerator to this denominator and this denominator to this numerator so 72 and 9 years are 72 so both sides are equal it means this is an equivalent fraction in the same way here 18 5 is 90 and 10 6 is 60 this is not equal so this is not an equivalent fraction here here also these are not equal so this is not an equivalent fraction and here 48 and here also 12 for the 48 so these are equal so this is an equivalent fraction now question number 4 fill in the missing number numerator or denominator in these equivalent fractions it is already written that these are the equivalent fractions so we can divide it by and we can uh, find out the numbers for example 2 6 is 12 here we have multiplied 6 so we can multiply here also 6 6 3 is 18 now here 7 3 is 21 so we can multiply 3 so 1 3 is 3 here 3 4 is 12 so 5 4 is 20 and here we have divided 21 by 7 7 3 is 21 so we have to divide 24 by 7 that is 4 so in this way we can find out the missing digits